Welcome back. Um, yeah, whatever. Let's just get on with it. <laughs> we just have to continue on up to Brill and turn in these couple quests. Uh, we kind of cut short last episode. So let us do that. Death Guard Abraham. Nice crossbow, bro. <laughs> nice crossbow. Nice crossbow, bro. Yeah, I really like the little, like, so every, every, um, like, starting area has a little, like, town in it that becomes sort of a, a quest hub for that area. And then this, for the undead, it's Brill. I really like Brill. It's probably my favorite sort of starting area quest hub. We have a couple quests to turn in, a couple quests to pick up. So let's turn in our quests first, and then we'll pick up everything that we can. They're gonna make the most sense that way. Let's see, I think they're just in here. Maybe upstairs? No, he's down here. Okay. Just to know that there's one. I think it's actually this guy who does walk around, and sometimes he'll go upstairs. I must have lived a charmed life, Rizotis, to return to the world as a member of the Forsaken and the Apothecary Society. I couldn't have asked for a more suitable fate. Where is that useless abomination? Either you have what I need, or you'd best get out there and find it. Well, I got your doomweed for you, buddy. Or gloomweed. Not doomweed. What's this? Gloomweed? I have no need for gloomweed. That mindless mass of flesh is out there picking daisies and convincing the lady knows convincing the lady knows how many dupes like you into doing the same. No offense. We'll deal with the gloomweed later. For now, we've got other matters to discuss. Alright, well, thanks for paying me anyways. Lady Sylvanas has called upon the Royal Apothecary Society. She has challenged us to concoct a new plague. A plague deadlier than any ailment on Azeroth. This new disease will bring our enemies, living and dead, to ruin. My studies show that the... Oh. S -s Sir? You just, you just walked off when you were talking to me? My studies show that the blood of beasts might prove to be key. Here, fill these vials with dark blood so that I may test my theory. You got a boss, man. Alright, and then we have another quest to turn it over here. Oh, look at all the horses. Oh, I'm gonna think they're inside this big building here. Probably at the back. Here he is, Magistrate Severin. This had better be good. Yes, I'm Brill's local magistrate, reporting directly to the Dark Lady. Impress me, and you may end up meeting the Banshee Queen herself. Now, on to your first task. Dark Thank you. I need a fresh report from our Death Guard way station to the east. I must know if more Scourge forces have slipped past the Bulwark and into Tirasfall. Our vigilance on the border to the Plaguelands must be maintained. We cannot let... Ah, uh, the Scourge get a stronger foothold here. Travel south along the road, and then east at the fork to the way station. Speak with Death Guard Linnea. She has the information I need. Beware you got it. Road. And then I think there's just a couple quests here for us to pick up. So, Death Guard Morris. What are you looking for? Executor Zygand has asked me to take stock of our equipment here in Brill. With the Scourge, and worse, lurking in the woods, he doesn't want the Death Guards to lack any gear they might need. I have found that we are, in general, well stocked, but we do need more weapons to replace those lost in the field. Here is a requisition order of what is needed for the weapons dealer Gordon uh, Wendham in the Undercity. Take the order to the bat handler Annette, and speak with her about transport to the Undercity. Sure. And then Zygand here. I am forsaken. Information we've received from Executioner Aaron in Death Knell contains all the details we need to wipe out the human infestation from the lands. According to the information, the Scarlet Crusade has assigned Captain Perrine and a brigade to the ruined tower southwest of Brill. Kill three of his zealots, three of his missionaries, or and three of his missionaries, 
And while you're there, see if you can dig up any other information on what they're up to. Alright. Let's do uh, this bat quest first to help get our troops some weapons. Annette Williams. I'm listening. Where would you like to fly to? <laughs> you appear to be on official business. Why, yes, I am. Ah, an order for supplies. You will want to take this to the Undercity, no doubt. And quickly, for Braille must not be left understocked. One of my bats can take you to the Undercity. Normally, these flights require a small fee, but the flight to the Undercity is a complimentary for a handsome undead like you. Speak with me again when you're ready, so that we may arrange your transport. You'll find Gordon Wenham in the trade quarter of the Undercity. That is the same quarter where my bat will land. Thank goodness. So we just have to fly down to the Undercity. And then when we come back, we'll have to kill these uh, cursed Darkhounds and stuff to get their blood. Should be quite lovely. Yeah, every starting zone has a quest similar to this one where you talk to a flight master and fly it to the sort of main city for your race. And turn in some items or get some items and then bring them back. And it's pretty good experience, so who am I to say no? And swoop down in here. Almost there, I think. Yeah, it looks like he's right around here, which is pretty nice. Just like a commoner. We actually are not going to pick up the quests in the city, uh, just because we can get them later. Unfortunately, we don't have to do too much navigating in here, because the guy is just right here. We don't have to go across the city. Speak. Weapons merchant. Oh, we, we'll have to check to see if he has anything we can actually buy for ourselves. Greetings and welcome. I am not very good at smiling, but trust me, I am happy to serve you. I keep my weapons in top condition. They are cleaned and ready for use. Thanks, boss. An order from Brill? Very well. It is an honor to serve those who su serve our Dark Lady. I have placed Brill's supplies into this crate. If you already have visited Brill and spoken with their Batmaster, then, a ri you, then you may ride a bat back to her. Speak with the Undercity's Batmaster, Michael Garrett. He can provide you with a bat to Brill. Alright, yes, but first let me see his stock. Minus damage. Oh, here we go. This could give us a little bit of damage. I want to see what Lewis here has. I mean, it's probably the same. Oh no, it's just higher level stuff that we can't use yet. And we're not going to be buying weapons like this for very long. But I'll just do this now because it's an upgrade for both of our weapons. So, Stiletto there. And stiletto there. Hey, look, we got a different model. Now we have little pokers. <laughs> that look pretty cool. Ah, oh, let's sell all this stuff, too. Be quick about your business. Beware the living. And then talk to the bat handler once again. What now? This crate must reach Burl quickly. Then it, that, that is easily done. Our bats fly there daily. Hell yeah, they do. The Batmaster in Brill is Bat Handler Annette. If you have already met her, then I can give you a bat to fly back to her. Now, this this text needs to be kind of updated because you always get free flights between your that main city and then the little quest zone or quest hub city next to it, and you always have both flight paths, and it's always free to fly between the two. Anyways. Our bats will always fly to the Undercity, but to travel to more rec remote locales, the rider must first visit the area and speak with its bat master. You have met an up in Brill, so you may now fly bats there. Speak with me again when you are ready. Alright, and back to Brill we go. I really like... <laughs> I would just like fly through the sewers in the Undercity to get out. 
Just fuck it, man. The undead probably can't smell anything. That's probably a good thing, too, considering that they're all rotting masses of flesh, basically. It smelled terrible. Alright. Now I just have to turn this in once again. Death Guard Morris. Rizotis, you return. Do you have our supplies from the Undercity? Yes, I do. Good work. These weapons will ensure our Death Guards don't get caught unprepared. You've done a valuable service for our Dark Lady. Farewell. Yeah, I try. I try, boss. I really do. Let's see, what do we need? Dark Hound blood? Talk to a dude? And kill some zealots. Let's go kill some zealots. And Dark Hounds, I guess, on our way. We can probably just leave through here. Let's see. Oh, there's a dark hound. Oh, hello there. Well, you deserve to lose this land for what your people did to us. Oh, hold on, that's... So yeah, for whatever reason, the storyline uh, add-on is kind of buggy when you get sort of pickup quests. So we, whenever we get one, we just have to close the window that pops up and then reopen it. As far as you know, Worgen Rogue, Roman Tiris follows a new development. This is something that Executor Zygand would certainly be interested in. So we just have to bring it back to him, I guess. Now back to killing doggy dogs. Alright, that's all the uh, Dark Hound blood we need. Also got. Oh! Hey, another bag. Uh, this is just a six slaughter, so not really worth it to try and replace any of our current bags. Unless we like the color more, but it really doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, and we've been skinning those dogs that we've been killing. Except for this one, apparently. I don't know why I didn't skin that one. Uh, getting our skinning level up. And getting those precious hides. Yeah, let's combine these into some leather. Can we make anything with six pieces of leather? Make some light armor kits. Coarse thread. I'm not sure. Actually, I think you just buy coarse thread from a vendor. Um, I mean, let's just make some light armor kits, though. They're basically useless. Because it just adds one armor to, like, a piece of armor. Or a piece of equipment, I guess, would be more accurate. But it'll, it'll give us a few levels in leatherworking, which is kind of what we care about right now. Alright, so all we have to do is turn in some quests, but then there's this one last zealot killing quest. Alright, here's their broken down watchtower. Oh, they're really sort of swarmed all over the place. That should be pretty easy. So to kill zealots and missionaries. And then they have a chance to drop the letter or whatever that we need. So we're going to be looting them as we go. Which I mean, I guess we would be doing anyways. Hello there, little missionary. Goodbye there, little missionary. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention that we uh, leveled up when we were killing the Dark Hounds and got Evasion, which is a two minute cooldown, increase our dodge chance by 100% for 10 seconds. It's pretty nice for survival. Um, but it's not going to help us kill things any quicker, unfortunately. But it does mean we are one step closer to level 10, and then that's where the fun should begin. Dark Hound stuck in the world there. Not sure why that happens sometimes, but it doesn't really matter. Alright, looks good. Let's head on back. Man, there's a lot of walking in this episode. Here we are. Uh, let's talk to Zygand and then whoever else we needed to turn a quest into here. I don't remember who he was. The Scarlet Crusade is encroaching on our homeland. The foolish zealots do not realize that the loyal servants of the Dark Lady shall see to their demise. Well... Okay. Turn two quests here. Let's do Escape from Gilneas first. Hmm, yes, that makes sense. Since the Worgen have come streaming out of Gilneas, I knew it would only be a matter of time before they arrived here in Tirisfall. 420 experience, boy. These Worgen must be dealt with, and quickly. Our first priority is to eliminate any which may have infiltrated Brill. I want you to be on the lookout for any suspicious activity here in Brill. We know that these Worgen can hide in the shadows, so look for any signs you can find. Footsteps, kicked up rocks, anything. And I accept. And then turning in the other quest. The Scarlet... Oh, okay. Same, same dialogue there. We shall herd the Scarlet Crusade like cattle to their demise. It sounds like we'll have to keep our eyes out for this Voss character. I don't expect any Forsaken to receive a reward if we capture her. I'm just worried she'll eventually turn against us. What, a thousand experience? I'll take it. Thank you. Ah, oh, yes, the apothecary. What does the shadow will? Have you collected the Dark Hound blood yet? Time is fleeting. Yes, I have. You've done well, and I thank you for your efforts. We get some Troll's Blood Elixir. It gives us some weak health regen for an hour. I guess that'll be nice. I am to understand that another one of those foolish Dwarven Mountaineers has just been captured. The Death Guard has him stored here in the building, and they've assigned one of their own to persuade him not to escape. Why don't you go see how the captured Mountaineer enjoys the special drink I made for him? It contains a subtle hint of what the Dark Lady has planned for the rest of Azeroth. Alright. Sounds good to me. Oh, a little bit of lag. Where is he? Is he up here, maybe? Oh, yep, there he is, the captured mountaineer. Why, if I had my trusted rifle, you'd be as good as dead, rogue. Just wait until the steam tank brigades arrive to rescue me. I'm not, I'm not really trying to do a dwarven accent. I mean, I, I probably could, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, drink at last. What matter of ale is this? I'm sure it's no Rhapsody malt, but I'll take anything to wet the old whistle at this point. That sounds dirty. 
wetting the whistle. I raised my brew and hoped to be rid of the likes of you. Cheers, you no good scoundrel. Yeah, dead. Alright, hey, 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 where are you going? You sneaky son of a bitch. Get back here. <laughs> All right, let's grab this quest. As you probably already realize, or as you're probably already realizing, the Royal Apothecary Society is a widespread organization. We take our plague alchemy seriously. It is our belief that the more agents we have performing experiments, the sooner we will realize our objective. One of our agents performs his work at a small encampment to the north of here. His name is Jared, and we could he could use a, an apprentice of your stature. All right, cool, cool. All right, this is going to be... Actually, no, it's probably about the same length as our average episode. I'm going to call that it for today, guys. Uh, I would record a little bit longer, but I have some stuff to do. So, uh, with all that being said, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.